Okay, everybody, what is up? Today, we're going to be showing you a cool experimental feature that really is exciting. Uh, nanite tessellation is, you know, I mean, in development and you got to enable it. But first, we're going to go ahead and set up a texture so that we can go ahead and take you know full advantage of this and then try different ones we're going to download different ones so the first thing we're going to do is under content i'm going to create a uh, new folder create a new folder i'll call it materials and then here we're going to go ahead and create a new material there we go and we're going to call this uh nanite and we'll just call it test just for now all right and then we're going to go ahead and just take a quick, quick look at this. So we have our nanite test. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is, is drag some textures in. I just downloaded some quick surface textures from, um, let's go ahead and drag these in. I believe it's these, here we go. Let's grab these and just drag these in. Here we go, perfect. All right, so we've got our base color our albedo, and then we have an ORD colors, we call them here. We're going to go ahead, drag that into the base, drag that into the normal, and then here we can do some things like we know the red channel goes into the roughness. I believe the green goes into the ambient occlusion, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then as well, we're going to go ahead and just mess around with some of these. But first thing what we're going to do is we're going to create a material instance so that we can just plug and play any textures. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the blue channel and we're gonna actually multiply it. And we're gonna go ahead and create a parameter here. And we're gonna call this displacement. Okay, so what's gonna happen is, is that when we multiply the blue channel, um, and we'll just set this to zero for now, uh, so that we can go ahead and, yeah, I mean, this will be the default. When you multiply, it's going to enhance it. That's what it's going to do. We're going to put that into the displacement. Okay, other things we need to do is, is in the Nanite feature here, um, which is actually new. I'm going to show you. So if you actually click on this node, which is your material node, and you scroll down, you can actually see a Nanite section here. So you have actually a Nanite override material, which is pretty cool. And you have magnitude. Um, so for now, let's just set the like center to zero and as well, we're going to set the magnitude up and you can set this to whatever you want. So if we set this to like 30, um, you know, and we go ahead and we add displacement to one, it, it's gonna, you know, it won't take effect right now, but it's going to be there. Another thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and do a texture coordinate. All right, so another thing is a texture coordinate, right? We want to be able to control the tiling of each of these. So once again, we are going to multiply. So we're going to take that and then we are going to create a parameter. So we're going to take that, right click on that point there, go promote to parameter, and we're going to create this. We'll just call it tiling. There we go. And then we're going to plug that into each one of these UVs. Perfect. Okay, and then another thing we're going to do is we're going to take these three and convert them to parameters because what we want to be able to do is create a material instance where we can replace these textures after so i'm going to right click here and we're going to go ahead and um, well, let's set the default of this tile into one we're going to right click we're going to go convert to parameter and we're going to call this base and then we're going to right click on this, convert to parameter, we'll call this normal. And then we are going to right click on this, convert to parameter, and we are going to call this ORD. I think that's what it is, right? Those are usually like the ORDs, which are essentially, if you look at these, um, what they are is, is there are three different textures actually. So watch, I'll turn them all off. So you can see there's the red channel. Here's the green channel. And then here's the blue channel. So you look at all three of them and you can actually like separate them and use each one. So like here's the roughness um, and we can play with this after too. say, hey, is the roughness actually going to give us a better depth map or displacement map 
than this one right here. We'll take a look and we shall see. All right, so now that we've got our material set up, we're going to save that. And then we're going to go ahead and close it. We're going to go to our material, which is in our materials right here. We have that. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go create material instance. Okay, and now you can see it says Nanite Test Instance. So now when you double click on it, you're actually going to see all those parameters that we created there are right here. And if you want to, you can create groups so you can have it whatever you want. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to actually drag that onto, let's say, the wall here. And it's going to go ahead and put it on there and like, ew, it's going to stretch, of course. Uh, because that thing is stretched and we can fix that obviously with the tiling. So we're gonna go ahead and let's just tile it by 50. Um, you know, that may be too much and too ugly there. What if we just dragged it onto the ground? I'm wondering if it would be better on the ground. That's probably a little more uniform. I didn't separate the tiling into the X and the Y. I just did it in overall. All right. So that looks a bit better, but you can see that there is kind of nothing going on. So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to make sure that this object here, this SM cube, so we're going to find it in the browser and we're going to right click and we're going to make sure that Nanite is on. I already turned it on and you want to make sure that Nanite is on and you're going to see actually how low res this is, right? So if you actually look at the wireframe of this, um, if we go to wireframe, you can see like there's no real geometry there. If you go to nanite visualization, you visualize the triangles. Look at that. It is literally two triangles. Okay. So for displacement to work, you need a lot of geometry. The higher the geometry, okay, then the higher the displacement map you can get. So what's interesting with nanite is that it doesn't need that which is crazy so if you go here in the console and you type r dot nanite dot allow and it's right here it's called allow tessellation and then you do space one that's going to turn it on zero turns it off and we're going to hit one okay then we're going to also do the other one which is r dot nanite dot tessellation which is right here space one enter and then there we go so we just turned it on and right now it's set at the default of one and there we go you're already seeing some like displacement going on and once again you can control that in here so right now this is at like displacement of one you can control how much that's actually going to tessellate like, like i'm raising that like i'm at like two now and then eventually it will have a negative effect. But as you can see right there, I'll just put that down there. But there is the nanite tessellation. And we can just, you know, there eventually you can see there. It's still in development. So you're going to get some weird, weird effects. Obviously, if you put it to zero, it's going to flatten it out. You're getting some weird lighting artifacts. And then we're going to go ahead and bump it back up. We'll just bump it back up to one. So you can see there, like all of that, which is pretty cool. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the nanite visualization triangles. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? With two triangles, look at all the detail that you're getting. Oh, that's some weird artifacting going down there. Um, so once again, this is experimental. Um, and what I mean by that is, is like, it doesn't actually even have collisions. So you can see right now, my feet is actually going through right now, the tessellation. So there's still obviously a bit of problems with there, there. They haven't, yeah, I mean, I guess they haven't figured that out yet. So that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> you can see some weird stuff going on there. That's pretty cool to like look on the rock wall right there. So if I went in and I changed that rock wall, like right now that's a one. So if we actually went back to my material, oops, not that material, material right here, went to my instance, 
and we tone that down a bit so let's go to like 0.5 maybe let me move away from it and then move back so now you're getting more of that cool nanite displacement going on right there and you can literally do this so now that i've created a material instance you can go to the bridge library and get pretty much any material and just go ahead and replace that so like for example uh here is roofing this one's pretty cool so let's go here and let's uh sure uh, that's mossy roofing let's do like a wood roofing let's see how that looks so we're going to go ahead and drag that onto here it's going to download so let's just give it a second to download three four five six i'm doing high quality so that's pretty cool a few moments later there we go okay so we're going to bring my material instance back on there we're going to go ahead and bring my material instance up we're going to go ahead and grab my woody roof shingles and we are going to go ahead and start replacing these so i'm going to check them to replace them and then oh no, i'm going to do it this way we're going to drag that into there we are going to drag that into there give it a bit of normal and then drag that into there and then now my shingles are going to add like look at that that looks amazing like look at that so we're going to turn it off we'll turn the nanite off to kind of show you what it would be so if i go here and i just go to nanite tessellation i hit zero so there it is without nanite tessellation very flat like it yeah you know i mean and then now we're going to turn that back on now obviously that may be too much but look how cool that looks So that is Nanite Tessellation. Once again, an experimental feature in Unreal 5.3, but that is pretty sick. Uh, still, once again, a bit of artifacts here, things there, but pretty cool. And if you look at the visualization of Nanite there, like that, that's crazy. That is crazy. What is this wizardry? Ooh, what is it? <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one. I'm trying to do more Unreal videos, but I have a actual job. So this is stuff I do on the spare time. Um, thank you very, very much for watching. And we will see you in the next one.